Hi and welcome to The Sun Down Under, the podcast from the sun coming to you live from Australia's Gold Coast. My name's Ellie Henman, I'm The Sun's showbiz news editor and boy have I got a lot of gossip for you today. So following Nella Rose out of the jungle is Fred. First date's Fred, the Frenchman has gone. And you know what, I actually have to say, I think Josie is going to be seriously relieved and Sam Thompson actually. I know you guys have been watching and and seeing how things are panning out. And actually in the last few days, Fred has become quite a divisive character, especially around the cooking. Josie, you know what we could do? We could well, eat... I'm going to stew it all, Fred. That's what I'm doing. No, no, I know that. I know that. But the um, the rice, we could eat it with the mushrooms be, while the no, meat is I... stewing. So we would have something in our belly. I know, but I think you're just going to have to wait, mate. So poor Josie's been getting so much lip from him. And I think she's been really struggling with that, as I said yesterday. She's found it quite hard. And then as you saw um, in last night's episode, watching, you know, as he sort of mocks Sam Thompson or Sam is happy to sort of stay here. You know, these horrible sort of things that he's been saying and obviously he doesn't mean it. So yes, he's out and I'm not surprised. I think the public are very much back Josie and have sort of had enough of Fred sort of picking on her, you know, and I, th- I think they won't stand for that. So yeah, I thought for me, but early doors, I thought Fred would always be a finalist, but actually his behavior over the last few days, this shows. You know, if you if the public don't like you, they'll, they'll vote you out. And now he's gone. Um, an excellently arrogant interview with Ant in Deck when he leaves too. I mean, it has to be said, how did you find the trials? Well, they were very easy. No, they weren't. They were really tough. That's, that's why you struggled. You know, you never actually got that many stars. Fred, I need it. What? Stop. What? The star of what? Oh! 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 What? Fred, what happened? He's dropped, dropped it. it. You know, you, you were always lacking. And he said, I tried my best. Of course he tried my best. But I do think it's it's sort of classic Fred, as we've now sort of learnt about his behaviour and, and know what he's like. To see, actually, here is a man who says, you know, the trials are very easy, but I never got all the stars. Classic Fred. So, no, sadly, I don't think he'll be too missed in camp. But I'm going to head over to the Marriott today, have a chat with him and see what he's saying. And, yeah, let's see if he criticises my cooking. Who knows? And so we all know about the iconic Cyclone trial. It's that amazing trial at the end of every series that sees four celebs basically being hammered by water cannons and producers who absolutely obviously get a huge thrill out of throwing enormous bouncy balls at them as they try and desperately get together all their their huge stars. So yes, the Cyclone trial is happening. It's very, very exciting, but there is a real cyclone on the way. So I was down at the Marriott yesterday with the great guys from ITV and I said, have you heard about this huge storm? And they had, they are fully preparing camp. So ultimately, this is a storm, a tropical storm, which is just off the Solomon Islands at the moment. I'm not quite sure where that is. I'm never, I'm never that good at geography, hence why I'm a showbiz journalist. And this storm is developing and developing. But last night, we learned over here that it was developing into a category three tropical cyclone it's called jasper which is which is really helpful so i've been looking out my window this morning quite mournfully thinking oh my gosh is it going to hit so at the moment meteorologists are saying it is on course to hit us and we're just sort of having to wait so i've spoken to itv they're very very aware of it and they're aware of the irony that this storm will hit exactly when they're doing the cyclone trial but they've reassured us they will be doing everything to make sure it goes ahead they've had horrible weather Um, at the start of the show. So the celebs are more than used to sort of being quite wet and cold. They've had a real reprieve recently. It's been very sunny. Obviously, I arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I I arrived and the sun came out. Um, But now, sadly, a huge cyclone is on its way. Uh, So if I don't get blown away in the next few days, you'll be hearing more from me. But I will bring you updates on that and let you know how it is going to affect camp because it is is a nightmare. It's a nightmare scenario, obviously, and, and they're doing the best they can. But obviously, the I'm a Celeb team, they are the best in the business. You know, the show's never gone off air, um, so it'll be fine. But yeah, we wait with bated breath for Storm Jasper to hit. So as we know, obviously, Nella Rose, she's left. She's at the Marriott. Obviously, Fred, now he's on his way to the Marriott. Frankie Dottori, first out of the jungle. He is living the high life at the Marriott. So I was pottering around there yesterday, just being a bit nosy, having a couple of drinks in the bar. Again, what a perk of a life of a showbiz journalist. And noticed that Fred was there with his lovely wife, um, and it's absolutely enormous man. And I thought, who's that huge man? And obviously, if, if you don't know Frank and Torridge, of course you all do. He's quite small. Obviously, he's a champion jockey. He's very slight. Um, so this enormous man stands out. And it turns out that this is a hired heavy 
that Frankie has got to make sure that he can enjoy his time at the Marriott with no one disturbing him. I mean, he is a pretty famous face. And obviously you can see, people see Frankie de Tori, they wanna go up, they wanna have a selfie, they wanna have a chat, but this is a man who's been starving on rice and beans. And he now just wants to relax in his five-star resort. So if you bump in to Frankie de Tori at the Marriott, maybe you're here in Australia with me, come and say hello if you see me. I'm the girl with the frizzy hair at the bar. You will see Frankie with an enormous bodyguard. I might try and troll him later on and maybe go up and try and get a selfie and see what happens. But yeah, so Frankie de Tori got a big bodyguard. He's obviously had enough of people coming up to him, you know. What a diva, but maybe Nella Rose will have one. I don't know, maybe Fred will. Maybe they'll employ me as their bodyguard. Let's wait and see.